Hey Nets, in this video I will show you how to edit YouTube videos like a pro. Hey Nets, in this video I will show you how to edit YouTube videos like a pro. You will learn how to improve the quality of your talking head videos, blur the background, copy color grading from any movie or video you like, enhance the audio and add cool AI captions. Plus, I'll show you the easiest way to create a YouTube intro and outro. First, I'll show you how to make your own 3D intro just like this one. When you open Filmora, click on New Project. After that, on the left side of the screen, select the Influence Kit. Now for the Logo Reveal option, click Start Creating. Here we will find a lot of cool 3D effects to use for creating an intro. Choose the effect you like, I'll choose 3D Gold Brick. Now we will click on the Edit tab to replace the text and after that you can position it to your liking. I'll make the text smaller and place it at the bottom of the screen. The next step is to replace the logo. Click on Add button and select your logo. I will use this one as an example. Position it to your liking just like the text and when you're done click Finish. This is what my intro looks like. Now you can export yours. Now that we've created the intro, let's move on to some useful tips to enhance the quality of your talking head videos which will help you get the best results from your phone recordings. First, import the talking head video that you'd like to improve, then add it to the timeline. Before editing, my video looks like this. Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to edit YouTube videos like a pro. The first thing you can do is to go to AI Tools and activate AI Video Enhancer. Then click the Generate button and wait for the process to complete. This tool works best on lower quality videos. If necessary, we can use Video The Noise, which is great for eliminating noise created during the recording. In the Basic tab you will also find out an enhanced tool that can really improve the overall appearance of your video, activate it and then adjust it to your liking. Here you can see how the video looked before and how it looks now. Next, I'll show you a technique to blur the video background, giving it a more professional look. To make the blur effect look better later, right click the video to copy it, then paste it anywhere on the timeline for later use. Don't forget to lower the volume. Place the playhead at the beginning of the timeline, then go to the Effects tab. In the Video Effects sub tab, click on Blur and then drag the Depth Blur effect to your video. Click on this icon and then you will be able to adjust the effect on the right side of the screen. Adjust the depth and strength to your preference. As you can see the edges are not perfect, but we will fix that easily. Select the copy of the video and position it above the original video. After that go to AI Tools and activate Smart Cutout. Now click here. Adjust the brush size and highlight the person in the video. Be as precise as you can, but don't worry if you make a mistake, you can easily correct it. After that click to start Smart Cutout and wait for the process to finish. Then click Save. Now the edges are much better and the blur in the background looks great. Now select both clips, right click and click create compound clip. Name it and click OK. Then I will show you a quick trick to get any color grading style in your video. For this trick you'll need a color grading palette or a scene from a video or movie that you like. You can find one on Pinterest. Just click the three dots and download the image with the colors you want. Then go back to the Filmora and click on your video. Go to the color tab on the right and activate the AI color palette. Click on add and then select local file to import the image you downloaded. Now hit generate then adjust the strength on the right to your liking. Make sure to adjust the protect skin tone to keep the video look natural. When you're done click save and apply. Here is the before and after. The next step to improve the video is to select the curve stub. Add a point here and move it down slightly, then add another point here and move it up. This way the shadows and highlights will look better. You can also add a fade effect by adjusting this point. 
With these small changes, the difference is huge. The next thing we can do is to improve the sound quality in the audio tab. First, we will activate the AI voice enhancer. I like to set the voice clarity to about 15 and the voice beautification to about 20%. With this tool, your voice will have a much better quality. You can also enable the denoise option if needed and adjust it to your liking. Here are the results. Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to edit YouTube videos like a pro. Next, I'm going to show you how to add AI captions that will make your YouTube videos more engaging. Go to the text tab, then click on the AI captions sub tab. Here select the speech to text option. Select the language here, adjust the other settings to your liking, then click generate and wait for the captions to be generated. When finished, your captions will appear. Click on them, then choose your preferred template on the right side. Then click on the basic tab to quickly change the text, font, position of the captions and adjust other settings to your liking. I place the captions at the bottom and change the color of the active words. Now my captions look like this. Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to edit YouTube videos like a pro. This trick is my favorite, the smart background music generation, which will find the ideal music for your video in just one click. If you don't see it in the toolbar, click custom toolbar and drag smart background music generation into the toolbar. Then click save. Now just click on it and it will find the perfect music for your video. After that you can lower the volume and add fade effects. Here is what my video sounds like. Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to edit YouTube videos like a pro. Now I am going to show you the easiest way to create a YouTube outro. Go to the templates tab and type outro in the search box. You will find many cool templates for YouTube outros like this one. Add the one you like to the timeline, then click here to replace material. Before editing it looks like this. I will import my profile picture and then add it here to replace the current picture in the template. If we need to change the text we can do it in the text tab. I will change the current text with my channel's name. After editing my outro looks like this. To learn more about Filmora 14, check the link in the description. If you liked this video, be sure to check out my other tutorials on making animated videos and using AI to create any type of sound effects you can imagine.